Hey, welcome in. So, I don't know, I've, I've heard some people say that you hear a lot of, I don't know, disingenuous things from Hollywood celebrities, from movie studios, a lot of self-serving things. You know, things that they might just be saying to make themselves look better. I don't know about any of that. All I know is that we got quite a mess here with Disney and Scarlett Johansson. I mean, here's the headline. Scarlett Johansson fires back at Disney, says response to lawsuit was misogynistic. So I don't know. She must have been shocked to find out how misogynistic Hollywood was. I mean, all this time making all of those movies over so many years, and she just found out now. I mean, that's got to be tough. So what's going on here? Actress Scarlett Johansson says Disney's response to her July 29, a breach of contract lawsuit was misogynistic. And she's accusing the company of trying to move talks behind closed doors to salvage its image. So what happened? Uh, Johansson is suing the studio over its decision to release her latest film, Black Widow, to its streaming platform, Disney Plus, at the same time as theaters. Now, I guess in theory, she was supposed to get some revenue sharing from, from the box office profits. But she wouldn't get that from the Disney Plus money, from the streaming. And I want you to keep in mind here, she only made $20 million for the movie up front. So, I mean, there's no telling whether she'll, uh, she'll come back from this. But that said, I mean, if they made a deal with her, you know, they should stick to the deal, even though, I mean, I don't really feel sorry for her. And it doesn't look like the movie was ever going to be a big hit that would have shown a bunch of extra profits for her anyway. But still, you know, Scarlett Johansson, she's a feminist and she's got to fight against all that Hollywood patriarchy and misogyny. Because even if the lawsuit seems kind of pointless at this point, well, I guess, uh, uh, well, girl power, right? Anyway, by shifting to a hybrid model, she claims the studio undercut the film's box office earnings, depriving her of compensation she should have received based on the deal she negotiated to receive a percentage of ticket sales. Now, I have to assume that would have been when the movie became profitable, and I'm not sure it was that likely that it was going to be profitable in any case, or very profitable in any case, but whatever. It says, Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of agreement uh, without justification in order to prevent Miss Johansson from realizing the full benefit of her bargain with Marvel. In response, Disney called the suit sad and distressing, claiming that Johansson showed callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the pandemic. And I, for one, absolutely agree. I mean, according to this, she's a monster, right? She's a monster. How could she be so callous? In fact, I would say just making the movie, knowing that people would go to movie theaters, was callous disregard. But I guess maybe Disney is callously disregarding it as well. I don't know. All I know is, is that Disney is misogynistic absolutely and scarlett johansson has has callous disregard for horrific and prolonged global effects i think they're both horrible <laughs> but you know at the same time i mean you know i mean who if not disney is most concerned for the horrific and prolonged global effects and you know scarlett johansson well she is constantly rattling on about the uh, the patriarchy and I, I, for one, believe, I mean, there is nothing that could concern her more. I mean, except maybe from, uh, I don't know, at $20 million US. But aside from that, but you know, as for this misogyny charge, I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, they did make like that Captain Marvel movie. And while that movie may not have done feminism any favors, I mean, they did this WandaVision thing too. That's a female-centered thing. Uh, it may not have actually done any favors for feminism. Um... Let's see, The Marvels is coming out. That's all uh, ladies. And uh, although, I mean, uh, that may not do that much for feminism either. So I don't know. It's all just so confusing, isn't it? It's almost like everybody's terrible. Anyway, uh, Johansson is, uh, she's got a team and they're firing back at Disney. Her lead attorney, John Berlinski, said in a statement released to Deadline Saturday that Disney's comments represented a misogynistic attack attack a misogynistic attack against the highest earning actress in the world he added disney is now predictably trying to hide its misconduct in a confidential arbitration 
But I mean, this is pretty horrific, this, uh, this misogynistic attack. I mean, how dare they? How dare they? How dare they launch this misogynistic attack against this woman who is f famous and rich for being really good looking and fine at pretending to be other people? How dare they? Oh, wait a second. Did I just do a misogyny? <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. I better move on. Let's see. Uh, the statement continued after initially responding to this litigation with a misogynistic attack against Scarlett Johansson. Disney is now predictably trying to hide its misconduct in a confidential arbitration. Why is Disney so afraid of litigating this case in public? Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care if Scarlett Johansson and Disney and everything Disney gets... Uh, gets redirected from the timeline into an alternate universe and we never see them again. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.